We live in a very distracting world. With constant news, constant articles, social media, and new ways to capture people's greatest accomplishments, the internet can be a very amazing place to see all the awesome things us humans can do. It can inspire people to change themselves for the better and really turn their lives around. It is an amazing way to connect with other people and bring them closer to one another. <clears throat> but, as much good as there is on the internet, there is also a fair amount of bad. Smartphones have made the internet and social media more accessible than ever, constant notifications, tons of great apps, and that dang blue light. It seems like we as humans are getting more and more used to having our brains be overstimulated with huge rushes of dopamine and lots of screen time. You'll uh, also have to excuse my voice, I'm pretty freaking sick right now, dude. Now we can take a break from social media, we can stop using it. Let's be real with each other, let's be real with one another it kinda is hard to do, you know? And there are tons of reasons to stay on social media. You wanna talk to your friends, you wanna connect with other people that you know. You wanna connect with all of your stupid freaking nerd friends that show how much of a nerd you are and you'll be a virgin for the rest of your life, I know. Listen, I get it, social media is not bad and I'm not gonna say that it's bad, but with constant social media flowing into our brains, that's going to uh, that's going to cause a lot of panic and a lot of chaos in our brains. We're hearing different opinions and lots of them. Uh, I mean, political stuff is, is off the charts right now. People cannot seem to shut up about politics and news. The news is is insane, and and uh, I think there's kind of this social expectation for everyone to watch the news so that they can be in, quote unquote informed. This is already really long. All right, so I'm gonna stop rambling and actually get onto the video. Also, I'd like to apologize for the sound in the background. So how do we gain mental clarity? In other words, how do we feel at peace? That's probably gonna be the title of the video anyways. The first uh, tip I'd give to you guys, and this is super, super important, I've already talked about it a lot on my channel, sleep. Sleep is super, super important. So I think the reason why I've talked about it so much is probably because I know how people like me are, and uh, what do I mean by people like me? I mean, people, like, I have some mental illnesses, and I, I'm very open about that. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna hide that. ADHD, bipolar, you know, makes it a little hard to sleep sometimes, and most of the time I really don't want to. I mean, I, I remember I used to just, like, hate sleep. Like, I, I just, I wished, I remember saying multiple times that I wished we could just stay awake forever. I know not everyone's like that. Um, I know that that's just kind of like regarding my circumstances. Sorry, I had to adjust this thing. But uh, I, I will say, I think you need to be getting six to eight hours uh, a night, at least six. I think the doctors are pretty correct when they say that eight hours is like a healthy, like the, the, like the really healthy amount to sleep. Sleep kind of dictates the way that we live our life and the way that we live our day. It's a very, very huge factor in our mood. So get enough sleep. Don't get too much, but get enough. All right, step two, step dos, meditation. Oh yeah. Now, I don't actually know if I've talked about meditation before. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember right now. Meditation, I'll, I'll tell you, it's a powerhouse. Uh, it's, it's powerful. I don't know if everyone's gonna react to meditation the same way or like if, if everyone actually even feels what I feel when I meditate, but I think most people, from what it sounds, meditation works uh, brilliantly and it's, it's something that really works. When you're meditating, you're naturally putting your brain to a calm state. Um, so when you do that like a lot and and you practice it a lot, you can keep you can really keep that uh, that plane of uh, of peace in your mind. And I think that that's what most people experience when they start meditating a lot. And yeah, it definitely does. It helps you feel peace. It it's life is not as chaotic, and you're very lo you're a lot more loving towards people. Another thing I recommend with meditation is if you can't, if you're having a hard time with it, which I do because I have ADHD, I can't sit still. Guided meditations are always a great option. Guided meditations personally work um, better for me. There's something about uh, the the words that they're saying is very wise. It, it it really sticks in my heart, sticks throughout my day. So yeah, uh, meditate, and I think that that'll that'll probably work out well for you. When you start out, it's a little rough. It's hard to kind of you know, scramble through the thoughts, but you just kind of got to let them, uh, got to ride the wave, man. 
Step number three, relationships. So I'm not necessarily talking about boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, or you know, family members, friends. I'm just talking about relationships in general, like anyone. You just you need to have people in your life that you care about. So you know, make sure that you're hanging around the right people as well. I know that you know it's it's easy to have some some really rough friends. So if you're if you're hanging around people that are not very nice, get out of that situation and and find some people that that you like. Find some people that you genuinely care about, and it's gonna make you feel really really happy. Step number four is gonna be sunlight. So sunlight's super, super important, and uh, I think it's something that we probably don't get enough of now. Personally, I know that I have had my struggles. I've had my phases where I'm just inside all day. Now, I've also had phases um, because of my bipolar symptoms and my uh, extreme, like, hyper-focused uh, personality. I have gotten pretty big into walking before. I mean, walking, running, um, I enjoy that a lot. <laughs> I have actually had days where I, I would just spend like, I would spend about two or three days just outside um, because, you know, there, there was just a while ago where I, my, my mind was too chaotic and uh, walking helped. Uh, walking helped calm the mind. Getting sun brought vitamin D and I think that uh, it, it will make most people feel a lot more happy and a lot more optimistic. Life for us is kind of our perspective. Whatever we view the world as is what it is for us. And I think that getting enough sun does have you view the world in a in a bit more uh, bright um, sense, I, if that makes sense. You're you're more you're more happy and you're more optimistic about life, and I think it does help a lot. Step number five is going to be to step outside of your comfort zone. Have a little bit of adventure in your life, bro. So I'm also going to give another example. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was hanging out with my friend Colin. Colin, shout out to you. I was hanging out with my friend Colin, and uh, we were vlogging. We were trying to find something to do. I've always been scared of heights, ironically, because of my height. Like, I'm super, super tall. So I've always kind of been scared of heights, and we decided we wanted to do parkour. <laughs> We were doing parkour, and uh, we we were vlogging it. You'll probably see the vlog sometime. And we decided to climb up a building. Now, I know that that's illegal. I know. Um, I'm young. I'm dumb. And uh, I conquered my fear of heights. I mean, I, I know that sounds really stupid, but it was it was a pretty tall building, and it was like a it was like a really weak ladder. And I did it, and I was super super scared because uh, I really just hate heights. Like. Anyways, I conquered my fear, I felt that adrenaline rush, and the rest of the day, I kind of tackled my uh, objectives a lot better, and I executed them a lot better, and I had a lot more confidence in myself. I think that when you constantly give your brain opportunities to step outside what it knows and what it's comfortable with, um, you start to you start to gain a lot of insight on life and you become really confident too. So those are the five main steps. Um, they're, they're pretty general, you know? These are some pretty general uh, tips to go by. Now th this next tip, the, the final tip I'm gonna give you is actually scientifically backed. I need to do a little bit more research for myself, but the research I have done has mostly just been me doing it. Number six is going to be the Wim Hof breathing technique and cold showers if you want to. Let me tell you, man, uh, life before the breathing technique and, and, and the cold showers, for me, the cold showers are bigger, a bigger deal for me, but let me tell you, man, I do feel like I am a, a much more, uh, a much smarter person, a much wiser person, and I'm a lot more fast. I feel more energy throughout the day. I really don't nap that much. And I almost got sick like two times it, 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 my body totally fought the sickness off. Hi, uh, <clears throat> so this is editing Carter, and I just wanted to say I officially got sick for the first time, so don't lose your faith in it. It's it, These tips do work, trust me. So that's just me speaking from experience. I don't know if it's going to work for everyone else. Um, what they say is that it does really work. I mean, there's there's a lot of scientific studies on it. That's what I've heard. And uh, from from Joe Rogan. By the way, Joe Rogan, if you want me to be on your podcast, I'll freaking do it. I'm just saying, I'm just I'll, I'll do it. Anyways, uh, yeah, the Wim Hof breathing technique is is really good. Basically, what you do is you just kind of lay like this. Well, I guess that's not. This isn't laying down now, is it? So you just kind of sit and you uh, 
you breathe in. It's kind of hard to explain, uh, but you keep breathing in. Uh, you breathe out a little bit and you breathe in more. Breathe out a little bit, breathe in more. So I kind of picture it like that. And then eventually you breathe all the way out and you hold it for about like uh, a minute or a minute and 30 seconds. It's, it's, it's actually an exercise really. But I do suggest it to anyone that um, wants to feel at peace. Yeah, man, if you guys are feeling the way that I was, um, you're feeling like, you know, chaotic. There's just a lot going on in your brain. I get that, you know. I've wanted, I've had moments where I've just been like, I just want to feel peace right now. I, I, I don't want anything going on. I just kind of want to feel that very mellow feeling, you know what I mean? And uh, I think part of that is because my brain's kind of on overdrive. Uh, and if you guys are kind of the same way, ADHD gang, if you guys are the same way, I think that this stuff will really, really um, help. I, I, I do think that a lot of it will help. I, I know now, um, I didn't know this before I started this channel, but I know now that, you know, with this self-help world, everyone's different. Everyone reacts to things differently. Everyone uh, has something that's gonna work better with them. But I do genuinely think that a lot of these should help. Um, they, they've helped me and I think at least trying one of these, pro I think it's worth trying. And if you want to do more research, I'll, I'll link the Joe Rogan podcast uh, down below. I'll link some other good videos that I can find in the self-help community. And uh, yeah, I really hope that this helped you out. Let me know what you think of these tips. And yeah, I guess with that said, uh, new wave of self-help videos coming soon. Are you guys ready? And actually, probably not just self-help, I'm talking vlogs I'm talking just those two so it's gonna be dope I'm really excited I'm feeling really great I'm feeling I'm feeling ready for this uh, phase two of the self-help videos and I'm very confident that they're gonna be a lot better and uh, a lot higher quality anyways sorry I know that's that's a ramble I that's that's aside from the point um, yeah uh, I guess with that said I will see you guys in the next video Peace. I know this is cringy and I do it every time. <gasps>